Hello everybody! Welcome to this third video in the six video series I'm calling The Six Steps to Waking Up and Taking Control of Your Life. It's a series on the basic fundamentals of what you have to get ingrained into your mind before you can accomplish anything that has to do with online business success. So yes, welcome back to you. I am glad to see that you're still here taking your life seriously. Today, I'm going to share with you the next step you must take to wake up and take control of your life in a very real way. Before we start, if you somehow got to this video without watching the first two lessons on time and focus, stop watching this right now and go back and watch those lessons first. You're probably not going to get what I'm talking about as we go on unless you go back and watch those videos and do the assignments. So please, if you have not, please go and do them. If you are one of those that has watched the previous videos and has done the work, well done. I am very, very proud of you. You are going to do well because you get stuff done. Continue to get stuff done again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> By now, you should have your list of up to three areas you want to improve in your life. And beside each of those, you should have one simple action step that you are going to take every day. By now, you should have done those simple action steps at least one time each. If not, get them done before the days end, okay? It's extremely important that you do them. They're easy. Remember, now that you know how time and focus work, use their power to your advantage. The next step and power that you must learn to use for yourself is the power of repetition. There will be some days that you may not really feel like performing those little tasks you wrote down for yourself, but you must remember the law. Focus over time brings growth. In order to build upon those things you want for yourself, you have to put time into them again and again and again. Repeat your actions over and over so that you get better and better so that your project or whatever you're trying to improve grows and grows and improves and improves. There's a simple truth that all farmers know about life and making healthy things grow. Everything is made in this world through this process, this secret, this little truth that they know. And that process is everything goes through these three steps. Plant, cultivate, harvest. First, a seed must be planted. This could mean a literal seed or a seed of a thought, an idea. Everything begins with a seed that is planted. Next, the seed must be cultivated. The seed must be taken care of. This is why you have to nurture your improvement areas every day, even when you don't feel like doing them. That is you cultivating your seed. That is why I tell you, you must write things down. It's all a part of strengthening your seed so that it grows into a strong and healthy offspring. The last step is the harvest. If you've done your work, you've taken care of your seed every day, then you will be able to reap the rewards of your work. The greatest things in this world were achieved because of small, simple actions that somebody took every day, cultivating, because they knew that the harvest would be brilliant when it came. Facts. These are facts, people. Plant, then cultivate, which is focused repetition of simple actions over time, then harvest. That is the way things are created. That is the way you were created. You must know these things. Know them. They are real and they work. If one day you don't feel like doing one of your simple actions, remember, plant, cultivate, harvest. Remember the process. Remember that you have to cultivate. Force yourself to begin cultivating. Force yourself to jump into action. Sometimes getting started is the hardest part. Getting started is literally the hardest part. Like, don't think about it. Just do it. Get it over with. Knowing that the effort you're putting in is affecting your life in a good way. You are cultivating your dream into becoming real. All right, today, your assignment is to make a list of all the ways your life will improve for yourself and especially for your loved ones 
If you keep going and taking these steps every day to improve your life, your life isn't the only one at stake here. Your loved ones will be affected in extremely positive ways just from being around you as you improve your life. They may not understand right away, but when the harvest comes, when they see you with your shirt off and say, damn, would you get those abs? Or when they see you with your wallet out and you take out that, that cash and you pay that $1,000 bill for a meal that you just had with your friends and they're like, bro, where did you get all that disposable income, man? <laughs> when your friends scroll through your Instagram account and they see all the pictures and all the selfies of you in your beautiful locations all over the world and they're just gonna ask, how are you able to travel all over the world right now, man? You were broke six months ago. <laughs> when you surprise your mom for buying her a new car, you see the tears of happiness in her eyes. That, my friends, that is the harvest. That is when everyone will see the fruits of your simple, little everyday action steps. The results of those little things that you did every day. Alright? So that's it for today. Make a list of the ways your life will improve for yourself and for your loved ones. Write it down. Now that you know why it's important to write it down, make sure you do it. Reflect on those things that you write down today. And tomorrow I will tell you about what everyone is doing that you're not that is giving them a lot of free time to work on themselves. What this thing I'm going to tell you is, is something that is so commonplace these days. Like, every, every single year that goes by, more and more and more people are doing it, which is why it's incredibly important that you start to learn how to do it now. 14 year olds do it, and have more money and free time than you and I, than most actually. So yes, I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you did, and you like this kind of stuff, you might want to consider subscribing and liking this video. Until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. That is it. I'm very, very proud of you. Do the work. Get off my channel.